Hi everybody, I'm Bree the Plant Lady, and this is part two of my How to Prepare for a Cold Snap in the Spring video series. Um, in my first video, I talk about all the sort of general things, and in this video, we are gonna tackle fruit trees, very specifically what to do with blueberries when they're blooming and you have a sudden drop in the temperatures. So what about fruit trees? Well, of course, they're all in bloom. Here behind me are um, some blueberry varieties, and I have peaches in flower, and uh, yeah, this might be a case where it would be worth tossing some, some Rime over these to help protect the flower buds. Um, in my world, I'm probably not gonna do that. I'm gonna take the chance that I think 25 degrees isn't actually gonna make these flowers burn off but I'm definitely running the risk. It's entirely possible that this cold snap could result in not great blueberry year, which happens with some frequency. Um, you know, some commercial growers lose their entire crops because of, you know, spring frosts and hard freezes. So all day long, I've been thinking about my blueberries because really that's the only plant that I really care about. I want to have blueberries to harvest and I have like 28 varieties of blueberries. So in theory, there are some that aren't in flower. You can see this one, which is a variety from Florida and it has low chill hours. I talk about chill hours because I want you to not make the same mistakes that I have made. This is sunshine blue and you can see it's in full bloom. 22 degrees will absolutely damage these flowers and likely make it so that I won't have any fruit on it. So the options are just say okay, I don't care, or potentially cover it with some frost cloth. I'll tell you, I don't really like this variety, not only because of the low chill hours, but it sets a really small fruit that I don't, I think that the fruit is, is kind of sour, I don't really like it. So I'm not gonna do anything for these. I'm just gonna, oh well, whatever, whatever, whatever happens. You know, not only is it already flowering, but it's already, you know, putting out foliage, which again, it's very early. Now here's a variety that is much better for my climate, where we average somewhere between 800 and 1200 chill hours annually. This is powder blue. And you see, it's not really flowering at all. The buds are really tight. I don't have to worry about covering this because these are not at the stage where the cold would make the flowers fall off. So that's a great relief. My favorite variety, powder blue. There's a few that are open over here, but overall, this is still in tight bud, so I don't have to worry about covering these up. Even these flowers, you can see, are significantly farther behind compared to that sunshine blue that's planted adjacent. So my decision about covering was made easy by the simple fact that I can't find my Rime. I didn't look real hard. It's really cold and wet and gross out, and I would have to tear my shed apart, and I just, I'm not going to go to that effort. So if I was going to cover anything, it would be these three blueberry plants. Um, I've lost the names of these. I know, I think Climax is the one in the middle, and then it's two other cultivars on either side. And you can see they're pretty well advanced. They have open flowers. It's possible that these will get burnt and I won't get fruit set here, but Overall, I, I think it's a, I guess I'm just gonna have to live with my decision. <laughs> Part of it is, is just, yeah, laziness, not having my Rime accessible. But because it's raining, I'm not gonna go inside and start bringing sheets and stuff out because I know this from experience. When you do that and you have moisture, precipitation, um, it actually will cause more damage than good. So I discourage you from pulling out sheets or blankets, um, particularly if it's raining like it is here. It's just like a gross drizzle. Um, that, that actually isn't going to be as helpful as you think it might be. Well, I hope you found this video to be helpful. 
The lesson here really is all about having a good cultivar selection for the region that you live in to match your chill hours. That way you know that you won't risk losing all of those flowers and therefore your, your summer harvest. Well, if you found this video to be helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe for more practical gardening information. And I hope you'll tune in to my next video all about what not to buy from the garden center too early in the spring. Thanks so much for watching everybody.